Hello guys, welcome to the first episode of Punch Club 2 Fast Forward. Just finished the playthrough of Punch Club 1 to get all of the story. The game is still very fun to play despite being released 7 years ago. I can't wait to get into Punch Club 2. And here it is, it was released 5 days ago. I played a little bit of it, um, but not too much. So let's jump into it. New game. The game, please select the game difficulty to normal. Game difficulty originally conceived by the developers. This is recommended if you're familiar with management games. Let's go. Fluffy, no. There is no other choice. Oof. We killed our father. It's payback time. I am your father. Give me your other paw. No. Wow, what a strange dream I just had. Thank God it's over. Morning, son. How did you sleep? Ugh, don't ask. Nightmares again. Hand me my favorite sweets, please. Whoa, holy smokes. Is something wrong, sweetheart? You're a giant slime, mum. You shouldn't talk to your mum like mother like that. No, I mean literally, look. People change over the years. <laughs> but that's not the most important thing right now. Then what is the most important thing? None of this is real. You and I never met in real life. But dad, I don't understand. Dad, do you think I'm your father? Well, what have you done with my parents, Lion Punk? What do you think you can do, huh? I'll punch your face. Oh, really? Oh. You won't scare me with your tricks. I'll be everyone who threatens my family. Like everyone? Oh. Oh? Come on, son. Punch me in the head. That's an order. Boom. What? Going. On. Here. Hi, you punch like a sissy. I'll show you a punch. Oh, no. Boom. I remember this place. I saw it in my dream. Sometimes everything in life comes down to a single moment. One single fight. But the fight ahead of you can't be won with punches and kicks. Not even... Not even with a huge crowbar, son. Father. I, I'm afraid I can't do it without you. But you have to. Please don't leave me. Find me in the upper city. Okay. Prologue. Leaving the shell. What a crazy dream, huh? Well, time for the daily routine. Good morning, my old reliable Matt. Uh, well, a lot of that made sense if you, you played Punch Club 1, guys. Or if you watch my playthrough that I just uploaded. Uh, a lot of this makes sense. Okay, what is this? Okay, no money. Hello, Mr. Spencer. Time for breakfast. Invalid request. That never happened before. Let's try that again. Invalid request. No food available. Maybe it's jammed. Come on, Mr. Spencer. Work with me here. Invalid request. No food available. This situation calls for someone more competent. Mom! <laughs> Mother here. Wake up, mom. Huh? I'm hungry. Well, use the food dispenser then. I tried that, it just says no food available. Maybe we should call a technician? They'd probably be surprised we were getting any food in the first place. You mean all this time we've been stealing our food? Of course not, son. 
Ew. We just weren't paying for it. <laughs> That's literally what stealing is. What do you want from me? I'm a poor, sick woman. Here we go again. I gave the, be I gave the best years of my life to a man who... Mom. Abandoned me. Pregnant. Not this again. I'll just go and ask Henry. And cheese. Without a single word of explanation. I raised you all alone. As best I could. So what if I got a few corners here and there? Any self-respecting mother would do the same thing. Alright, well a lot of this makes sense if you played... Like I said, if you played Punch Club 1. I mean, this used... I guess that was our father, he must have been a fighter. So this is Adrian from the part one. It was a little love romance quest in Punch Club 1. Um, I'm just actually turn the music down a little bit. It's a little love romance quest with a woman named Adrian, a girl at the time. I guess they did make a baby together and uh, yeah, our father must have disappeared. That's not part of Punch Club 1. Punch Club 1 just ends, uh, when it ends when that plot story ends. Yeah, the cat you saw in the initial intro, that used to be, I guess, our father's cat. And there's a story behind that in Punch Club 1. I will, won't try, I'll try not to spoil Punch Club 1's story if you do want to watch that playthrough or play through it yourself. But I will maybe explain just a little bit some of the references that might happen. Okay, so here we are in our house. We need to go visit Henry. Is that Henry's house. Let's go, get some food. Good morning, Henry. If it is my favorite neighbor. What's up, mate? Come by for another retro movie? Actually, I've got a problem. What happened? The food dispenser stopped working. Well, you try punching it? They blocked it. Turns out we've been stealing food all this, all this time. That's not good. But if it... But it's not like you. It's not like you knew, right? Well, what are we supposed to eat now? You know you could just buy something at the shop, right? But that's outside the neighborhood. Mum would never let me go. With all due respect to your mum, you're old enough to be on your own. But she... She'll be cool with you buying a hamburger from your favorite neighbor. For your favorite neighbor. I guess. Here, use the change to buy yourself some breakfast, alright? But... The shop's practically around the corner. Grow up, kid. Oh, this guy, Henry. I guess he got the screen to watch movies. Yeah, it seems like he's a movie fan of movies. Old school movies as well. It's got all the analog tapes. Alright, back to the city map. Apple's shop. Okay. Seems like this the city is actually the same as in Punch Club 1. It's just well up into the future. Um, I'd say more than 20 years if this kid is 20 years. But okay, let's go to Apple's shop. Good morning. Something wrong? You're a head in a jar and you're talking. Aha, my friend, yes. You are very observant. What can I do for you? You see, I was going to buy myself the body of a young athlete. So I sold my old one, but before I could purchase a replacement, there was a crisis. Stupid slimes. The food market kind of crashed, so now I have to look like this. Alright. Happy cheeks. Yeah, so Apple's store used to be the grocery store that you visit in part one as well. And uh, you are familiar with the men Apple from when you are uh, playing Punch Club 1. Okay, buddy, just press the green button to buy the items. <laughs> the paperclip is back from Windows 95. I know you can manage that. I mean, how else would you have gotten this game? <laughs> Unless, of course, you torrented it. Which is, you know, cough, cough, illegal. Alright, Henry's burger. For 10 bucks. And a cooking kit. Want something nice? Make it yourself. It's 3 health, 45 food, 25 dollars. Bring Henry his burger. Present your chip for payment verification, please. What chip? Your GPP chip, of course. Um, I don't have one. That's nonsense, every citizen has one. Let's see it, please. What's up, Apple? Oh, hello, Mr. Bobo Jr. 
Have you come to rob me again? Yep. Open the register, please. A robbery? Not on my watch. I'll save you, Mr. Talking Pickle Jar. What? What? I said... We heard. We heard, but how, you just, how about you just take this chocolate bar and piss off? <laughs> because I'm... Uh, he... Wait. It's... A slickers? Nice. You sure you're ready to part with it just like that? <laughs> Please take it. I'll rob the store and get myself some more. Oh, that's sweet of you, thanks. <laughs> Awkward silence. Sorry to interrupt you, but can we get back to the robbery? Oh, I almost forgot. Get ready to fight, you thoughtful bastard. Alright. You can assert abilities in slots here. Each row has a specialization. Let's use an attack ability. No attack. Skip, an at skip attack phase and restore energy. Press here to choose. Let's pick one of these. One of the available abilities. Kick. Powerful attack requiring increased energy. So six, I guess. First is damage. Second is energy. Not sure what the last one is. Okay, so six damage plus 20% strength, I assume. And and 5 base energy plus 40% strength. Okay, so we can 6 damage for 5 energy. The more abilities you choose, the most cool perks will be activated. Okay, up here, okay. Alright, so here we are. Player, good person points. Zero school, basic school. Reduces knockdown damage. Yeah, I guess if we run out of energy during the fight, we get knocked down, we take some damage, and then we get back up with... 30. At least that's how it was in Punch Club 1. So let's see. Tumbler. Reduces knockdown damage. Okay. Energizer. Standing up after knockdown restores more energy. Okay. Reduces knockdown damage and we get more energy if we do get up. Okay, so we either do a punch or a kick. Punch to the head. Simple and effective. Yep. So same scaling. 20-40%. Except it's 5 damage and 4 i do a couple of punches and a kick, just so we don't run out of energy. No defense, just keep getting hit. <laughs> no modifier. Some buffs. He's got no buffs. Lil Bobo. There was a character named Bobo in Punch Club 1. A kind of biker gangster that uh, beat us up, and then we sort of made friends with him after we beat him up ourselves. Okay, school. Also basic school. It's got Tumblr, Energizer, and Respite. A little energy is restored between rounds. What is this? Low kick. Deals even more damage than kick for the same energy cost. Okay. Seven base damage and five. Five base energy, eight for eight. But high kick, like standard kick, but higher. And spends less energy. Interesting. Higher, but spends less energy. Dodge, you take no damage. Successful dodge if you successfully dodge an attack. Significant increases incoming damage if the block is successful. Okay, so 5 energy to dodge or 4 to block. Alright, he's got 6 strength. Affects HP. Which guys got 145. Depends on strength and HP and energy consumption. Damage and energy consumption in a fight. Affects... Hmm. What are these? Initiative. Depends on agility. Okay. And stamina affects energy in a fight and energy recovery between rounds. Okay, well, obviously, he's got five and en five energy and six strength. He's got more HP and more energy than me. And we have the same number of initiative, even though he's got two agility, and we have one. So I'm not sure, not sure how that works yet. Fight. Oof. Punch. Miss. Oh, oh. Sixteen. Defeat. Oh, okay, it was only one round. I guess defeat. We lost 12 energy and 17 HP. Affects you fought recently. You still feel the rush. Plus three. Not sure what happiness. Mood these days. There was a mood mechanic in Punch Club 1. Okay, we made mastering. Okay, not sure what statistics. Was that that round? 56. We lost 44 health. Okay. Stop right there, you delinquent skunks. But I. But he. 
I don't want to hear a word of it. Rule of the fist. You're both headed to the police station. Alright. Thanks for not writing me out, man. That would be hella bad for my GBP. Snitches get stitches. Hmm, okay. Still want to thank you, though. Come by the slime farm if you need a job. Okay, find out about little Bobo's job. Now tell me, son. What have you done with your GB to your GBP chip? I never had one, sir. No idea what this GBP thing even stands for. How on earth is that possible? Well, mum has never let me leave the house, so... Now that's a shame. Your father would have, wouldn't have approved of that. Did you know my father? Mom never told me anything about him. Call complete. Okay, he was a fighter, one of the greats. The rest of the info is classified, though. I need to know, sir. It's very important. To access that information, son, you'd have to be a police officer. Okay, if you say so, I'm ready. <laughs> Not so fast, you eager little beaver. First, you'll need 2,000 good for GBP and learn all the laws. Ooh, get 2,000 GBP. Hmm, becoming a cop. That does sound awesome. And about that brawl you had in Apple's shop. I'm not going to charge you. Hey, but you don't leave the police station without a chip in your head. But how do I know it's not going to control me? <laughs> this laugh. I love this guy. That's exactly what it's for. But it's for your own good. Listen, GPP means good person points. The more you have, the better you are. Getting over 9,000 officially makes you a good person. That's when you get into Upper City, where all your dreams come true. How can I get them? Usually people get GPP for contributions to science, charity, the arts. Like a deadly martial arts tournament. Yeah, in your case, that's probably your best plan. Now let me, let's make you a full mem let's make you a full member of our glorious society. Oh, there. Now you have a chip. New item. You look like that fight took a lot out of you. A little food wouldn't hurt. Some cute criminal gave me a chocolate bar. So eat it. I remember back when I could do that. Oh, that sweet buttery nougat. Okay. Hey, you are you hungry? Have a look at your multi passport. Maybe there's something edible in there. Okay, now we have this multi passport. This is where you'll find food you've picked up. Choose what you want to eat. Slickers energy bar. Don't be a slime, it's slickers. Okay, so here we have energy, I guess, food and health. 15 food and 15 energy. Okay, mmm, delicious. Just don't overdo it with the snacks, big boy. You don't want mom to start swearing. Oh, and one last thing. Every fighter should visit Silver's gym. It's the best place for training. Sure, but first I need to have a serious talk with my mom. Enroll at the gym. Okay. This is the police station. Nothing else we can do here. So we need 2,000 GPPs to become a policeman and 9,000 to become a good person and enter Upper City and find out what's up, what happened to our father. But for now, okay, we can't go anywhere. We need to go to the old house. Oh, this is the police station. All right. Where were you? I've been worried sick. Why have you been lying to m about my father? What? Don't you dare talk to me like that, young man. Just tell me, please, did he go missing? Well, your father was a fighter. The greatest fighter there ever was. He better a little too great for his own good. Right after I found out I was pregnant, he entered the biggest tournament on the planet. I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen. Later, Adri. I need to focus. <laughs> Naturally, he won. And after that, poof, gone. Did he leave? Was he murdered? No idea. All the same to me, frankly. He never cared about me. About us. So why should we care about him? Now, where have you been? I've been to the police. They know something about him, unlike you. And they're taking me in. But all they ever do is have fist fights with each other and the citizens. What is it called? The rule of the fist? You're just begging for a bunch of bruises and concussions. What other choice do I have? To be a rocket scientist? If this city lives by the fist, I shall be the greatest. 
mm, fister, fist man. Anyway, I'm gonna be just like my father, and that's final. What? What? No, bots. You've been holding me back for way too long. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a job interview to attend. Alright. Chapter 1. Big City Life. Have you eaten yet? Um, no, I'm still hungry. Gotta grab something before you go, big guy. Okay, there's a fridge. Okay, food from the shop. It needs to be prepared before eating. Preparation time is written here. It's more healthy and hearty than fast food, but Mama already told you that, right? To eat something, press the button, buddy. Okay, so now we have a... Takes us one hour and 30 minutes, so we get 45 food. Now you're ready for great things. Let's see what the brave new world has in store for you. Open up your multi-passport, okay? Let's check the story tree. Ah, here, your quest tree. You can bring Henry the burger that he asked for. Or talk a little bit about working on the farm. Or visit Silver's gym. It's up to you. Good luck, buddy. Okay. Enroll at the gym, find out about Little Bobo's job, bring Henry his burger. Hmm, okay. What else do we have here? This is our fighting stats. Okay, don't really know much. We got... It's implanted in your brain. It projects different things. GPP chip and Henry's burger. High rage. Plus 15% training of... Is this rage then? Plus some, some work effectiveness. Okay, yeah, I guess. Okay. So we can go to Henry's house, we can go to the gym, and we can go to Bobo's farm. Hmm. Okay, Henry's house. 0.6 kilometers. 25 volts. To Henry first. Hello, Henry. Here's your burger. Sorry it took so long. Thanks, mate. What happened? Kind of got arrested. Wow, are you okay? Actually, they offered me a job. And a chance to find out what happened to my father. Told you, kid. And about that money. I never wanted it back. The change was yours all along. Right. You hit it? It's a pun. Because I helped you change your ways and... You've been watching way too many corny movies, Henry. Alright. By the way, do you want to catch a movie with me? Just like the good old days. What movie? An old action movie from the 80s. Sure, let's turn it on. Gotta love it. Okay. After 90 exciting minutes. Okay, the time didn't move though. Jeez, that was awesome. Yep, good old action movies. I grew up on them. I came here to eat ice cream and whoop your asses. <laughs> and I've already finished my ice cream. <laughs> and then that weightlifter beat their asses. And the beginning was cool too. You just stepped over the barbell. And that step was your last. Never step over the barbell. Never step over the barbell. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a good movie. Look, you've got some old school respect. Let's check what we can do with it. Okay. These are the perks from the movie that you can unlock with OSR. Old school respect, okay. Perks make you look cool while you're doing your thing. Choose a perk that is cooler than the rest. Okay, so we have 50 of these points, so we can do two of these. We can do slogger from one main character to another. Work hard and don't get distracted. Increases work efficiency. Okay, so we can do 30 plus barbell sprint. Weightlifting gives you more leg power. Increases movement speed around the city. Barbell pocket. Where was he keeping that barbell? Allows you to carry more items in your inventory. Okay, not sure we need that right now. The basics, even doing effective push-ups requires a knowledge of the basics. 
increases the effectiveness of push-ups on the carpet. Like we are going to be walking around the city a lot, I and mean, I doubt we'll be spending money. So weightlifting gives you more leg power. So let's do a trifle victory, but a victory nonetheless. That's the darkest dungeon. Now you know how to look cool in the eyes of the old school. So we had a great time, neighbor. If you want to go again, I remember Apple has some old tapes. Hope he doesn't need them right now. Could you please get them from him? Okay, I'll ask him. Okay. A nice guy who collects interesting old movies. All right. Okay, well that's Henry. So we can get more tapes from Apple. Uh, and I guess then maybe, okay, the weightlifters revenge we watched. The weightlifter takes revenge on all who disrespect his barbell. <laughs> Remember, never step over the barbell. Now pick up slogger as well from one maker to another. Work hard and don't get distracted. Increases work efficiency. Okay, okay. So there are the movies to be unlocked. Okay, there's quite a wow. There's quite a wow. There's lots of them. Lots of wow. Okay, there are new buff slogger. Then I guess. Here it is, yes. Slogger and Barbell Sprint. Okay. Guess 30 minutes to get to the gym. Okay, schedule 8 to 10. Okay. Let's still make it. Hello, sir. I heard this was a good place for me to get in shape. That's right, son. Look around. You've just stepped into the future. At Silver's gym, we can turn you into a young Arnie. If you got the scratch. Okay, out the build. Okay, that sounds kind of like cheating. Come on, it's high technology that makes the city so great. Silver's gym is a whole new level compared to the junkyard with the lunkhead Russian mafia. Have you seen their old training gear and fighting robots? It's embarrassing, am I right? Hmm, sounds like an interesting place. I should probably go check it out. Find out what the rough mafias are up to. But with us, you can become a killing machine at the touch of a button. And then test your strength in Silvers' fight league. Okay. Okay, how do I use the gym? Glad you asked. It's right there. Just through the door. Don't be shy, our admin robot will show you everything. Okay. Tell me more about the fight league. Amateurs from all over the city fight for money and GPP. It's the greatest. And don't let the word amateurs fool you. These guys can kick anyone's butt. Oh yeah. And it's not just guys. There's one goal to be precise. Oh yeah. So newbie, you ready to test yourself in Silver's League? To win at the fights? It's literally everything I've dreamed of. No more talking. Sign me up. That's the attitude, son. Let's get you on the rolls. Alright. Well, well, well. You signing up for the league too? This guy messing with me or what? Why not? I think it's cool. In that case, let's hope you die a horrible death. Yep, he's definitely messing with me. I'm sorry, have we met? I've got bad things to do than talk to losers. But remember, if you're destined to cross paths with Lord Huey in the ring, I will give you a hunk of chunk of such war power you will never forget. Yeah, okay. He's Lord Huey, I guess. Who's that, sir? That's Huey. About 20 years ago, he was a bandit. Worked for Bobo, one of the local criminals. Nowadays, he's got enough GPP to call himself a lord. Maybe the lord of bad manners and weird words, anyway. Anyway. I'll put some hurt on his lordship. You need a lot more GPP if you want to challenge Huey. Okay. So you can start in the league right now. There's a fight today, in fact. And there is still a free place open. Almost like it was meant to be. Lucky you. Okay. This is Silver's Gym. Yes, this is again from Punch Club 1. Hero. Actually, that looks like the hero from Punch Club 1. And I guess that's his father. Our father. Yeah, that's probably Silver. No. Okay. Here's the list of fighters in the league. 12 fighters, last being the 12th one. 11 angry men and women ready to beat your butt, your face, and other various body parts. 
Let's see who's your enemy in today's fights list. I have today's fights list, okay. This is the fight that's planned for you, JD. Your opponent looks like a real tough guy. Let's take a look. Here's his fighter preset and stats. Okay, it's just one strength, one agility, one, one, one. So pretty much same as me. Two punches he's got. Okay. Mm, actually, he seems a little weak. How did he get in here? Maybe he's just for tutorial purposes. Alright, let's sign up for the fight. Usually to sign up in advance, but today's an exception. Okay. Good call, fighter. I knew you had it in you. Now show me what you've got. Okay, we have. F okay, so the gym closes at 10, and we need to fight him before the gym closes. Alright. League fights are held on certain days. On those days, there's a period of time when you can enter fights. For example, in Silver's League, it's between 8 a.m. and 10 o'clock in the evening. The time remaining is written here. Okay. Remember, if you don't make your fight in time, it will be counted as a defeat. Now go to your first league fight, tear him apart. Let's go! Uh, hmm, okay. Let's do two punches and a kick. Yeah, there's not much else. Okay, we're a little bit down from our previous fight. No GPP, basic school. He just has two punches. Let's go. Oof, alright. Oof. Oof. 10 damage. Oh, 11. Okay, round 2 of 5. Okay, so we recovered 13 energy and he recovered 10. Interesting. Even though we both have one stamina. I wonder what that is. I feel like okay, we've mastered the punch. I'm not sure what's like that. Well, that's given us, to be honest. A little energy restore. Okay, a little energy because we have three skills equipped from the basic school we get the three skill perk respite and a little energy is restored between rounds okay so he gets plus 10 and we get plus 13 that's why okay oh and six six eleven interesting we only have two initiatives so okay okay this is interesting yeah, this, so we get 10 from one, one stamina restores us 10 energy, I guess, and three we get from this perk. Mm, we have two initiative and he has one now. Actually, actually, I change this. Let's change this to kicks. We have stamina. We need to make him go down. Oof. Oof. Oh, he does have two now again. Boom. Alright, first win, victory. 188 GPPs, so it's 15 energy, 21 health. We fought recently, okay. We mastered kicks and punches, okay. Hold well on, that was a good start. Oh man, even my grandmother fights better than that. But like her, you'll suffer a tragic end and gout. Take this protein bar, son, it will help you restore your health and get back a bit of energy you can get more stuff like that from the gym's robot oh and don't forget about the money we live in a world of victorious capitalism and you already owe me a dollar for what relax it's a joke <laughs> actually no it isn't <laughs> okay yes yes it's a joke you should see your face be seeing you newbie okay here yeah, that was a good fight and you got some good person points out of it too now you know how to be cough cough a good person. You can unlock new fight abilities with those points. Let's check it out. Okay. Okay, this is the good part of the game. Okay. You don't have any defensive abilities yet. Let's try one. Choose the defensive ability you prefer. So dodge. You'll take no damage if you successfully dodge an attack. Requires one energy plus eighty percent of your strength. Hmm, that's dodge. Yeah. So if you have high strength, it will you know, basically for each point of strength you will consume one more energy to dodge, or you can do block, which by itself requires two significant increase in common damage if the block is successful. 
So if it is successful. Wait, wait. Reduces incoming damage if the block is successful. Yeah, so two energy by itself. It does lead to a low kick though. Middle kick. Significant reduces incoming damage if the block's okay, so two energy. Requires two energy already. But scales better, yeah, so you can afford to have more strength. Okay, it leads to a low kick. So let's take lock. Press the button to unlock the ability. Significant chance if it's successful. Congratulations. Now you can try something other than just hitting your opponent. Okay. Okay, we have so we have side punch, two strength, middle kick, two requires two agility. Okay. Or low kick. Deals even more damage than kick for the same energy cost. Okay. Or middle kick deals a little less damage than kick, but consumes a little less energy. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we don't actually know what's unlocked later. We have 158 points available yeah, because we spent ah, okay so our total points are 188 and we 158 we spent 30 on block we have 158 left okay got it so what do we have 35 bucks okay let's check out the gym then greetings valid customer i am happy to welcome you to silver's gym here you can easily make yourself stronger faster and tougher with our newer training machines this cutting edge technology is your secret to becoming invincible. Okay, and here we have something very useful for after a fight. Dr. Feelgood, our massage therapist. Heal yourself here and get back to life. It's absolutely free. Remember, I'm always available to provide energy drinks and food. I recommend transitioning completely to an energy only diet. What's with that pool and who's the fat guy? That's our Total Immersion VR Fighter Trainer, for our VIP guests only. Okay, gotcha. you. you have any questions, please ask. Give me another tour of the gym. Bye. Okay, so protein bar. We can buy a protein bar. We have one slot in our inventory or an energy drink. That gives us 15 food, 5 energy. Or energy drink for 5 food and 20 energy. 18 and 20 bucks. We only have 35, so... There you go, that's back to the entrance. Dr. Feelgood, okay, so I guess we're gonna gain health at, and spend food and energy. Let's try these. Neuro Trainer, the modern way to become stronger. Okay, warm up, fresh, prepare your body for a workout. Okay, so we get 12 of each for 4 food. It's going to take 30 minutes, 4 food and 2 energy. We can deadlift, fill the burn, we can, you know, you got talent, breakdancing, skipping rope, don't skip it, jump it. Okay, boxing match, try to make it 12 rounds with a professional boxer. Aerial gymnastics, you like a tightrope walker. 4 hours 30 or a marathon run for 42 kilometers under the scorching sun okay basically so we spend some time we pay 30 bucks and okay and we get the stat boost so either 12 dollars for 120 in a single stat or 30 dollars for almost twice in that stat plus a couple of others yeah this is clearly more efficient okay this one exactly the same. Yep, exactly the same. Okay. Okay, so what is this? Okay, player. Okay, so we'll sign up. Silver's League. We're spot number 11. Okay, there's more leagues. Okay. So we can do, go to the Robo Factory. Apple's shop, so we can ask Apple about the tapes. We could have done that, or Bobo's farm. Okay, Bobo's farm. 
Okay, we need to spend an hour walking there. Or we go to Robo Factory Junkyard. 40 minutes. Schedule opens at 8. Okay, it works at night. Alright. Let's check this out. Because he said they had some training equipment here. Hello, anybody? Hold, who's there? I was looking for some spare parts to fix my exercise equipment. You hear that, Dynamo? I, we have a customer. I don't like him. Looks like some spying Varenic. I have no idea what that is. I'm just a simple, hard-working man. Yes, that could be true. Pay for your parts and leave. Alright. A junkyard run by the Russian Mafia. Truth. This means labor. Okay. Dynamo, I guess in English, or Dynamo in Russian. A powerful woman with a motorcycle. Don't even think about hitting on me. Why not? Grisha. Where? What was the description? The foreman of the junkyard. How could I prove myself to you? What do you think, my kiska? <laughs> it's like my pussy, my pussy cat. Call me that again, and you'll wake up with your head between your knees. That gives me an idea. What a way to prove you're straight than bending things. If you offer me a job, I'm in. Good, let's get to it. Alright, bending for the mafia. Start work. Okay, Grisha, the foreman of the junkyard. Okay, so we can buy what sports equipment. Barbell, lie on the bench and push it up, and so on. Good for strength. A punching ball, punch. After punch, after punch, after punch. Good for agility. Imagine that a creepy old woman is chasing you. Okay, 150 bucks to buy the equipment, and that gives us 60 for every nine food. Okay, as opposed to training at the neuro trainer, that's $30. It's like five trainings there. All right, we're training for $30, we could get 260. So times five, so about, we could build about 1300 for $150, or we could actually buy some of this equipment. Hmm. Yeah, questionable, all right. Start work. Bending work. I'm not sure what this is. Work. Alright. Okay, literally bending. Sign in available now. Okay, sign up. Okay, promotion. Hey, it's the Hanover. You should go home. Get some rest. How is it? Robots work here during the daytime. But I'm not tired yet. I said go home, that's the rules. Conversation over. Alright, well we made 99 bucks. Uh, okay, well I guess we're close to Apple's shop, so let's just go there quickly. Hello, Mr. Fishbowl. Ah, if it isn't the young fighter himself, how was your encounter with the law? It was okay, I have a GPP chip now. Let's see, you sure do you want to buy something? Well, actually, I was wondering, since I basically protected your shop. Ah, favor for a favor, sure. So you'll give me a discount? What? I'm so poor, kid, I got no money for a body. No discounts. No. But I do know a guy who knows a guy. They'll probably give you a job. Is it a pizza place? I've always wanted to try one of those. Oh man, the pizzas are all gone. Oh, stupid slimes. It's noodle making. Go to Club Street and tell them Apple sent you. Okay, I don't about the cafe job. Now, do you want to buy something? Can ask about the tapes. Ah, but do you have any old tapes? What tapes? I mean, black plastic boxes. People used to use them for watching movies. Yes, I remember something like that. They are piled up with the rest of the useless junk. So if you don't need them then... What? Can you give them to me? Certainly, that would be $100, please. What, you just said you're, they're useless junk? Yes, it was, before you wanted them. Now it's a product. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need them. I was just going to throw them in the trash. Who are you trying to fool? The price per tape is $100, not a cent less. Okay, we need a hundred bucks to buy a tape. 
Otherwise, want something nice? Make it yourself. Okay, 25 bucks for 45 food. We have a slime lunch. Warm up before use. $20 for 30. Okay, for 5 extra dollars we get 15. A slime sandwich. Okay, so these goes in our fridge. Slime sandwich goes in our inventory. So we have two slots. Okay, as a snack. 15 bucks for 20. Again, less efficient. Coffee. Okay, can get some energy. Slickers energy bar. 15 food and 15 energy. That's not too bad. $20 though. That's quite a lot. If it was 15, that would be good. Soda, tasty, but not healthy. Okay, get a bit of happiness. A bit of food, a bit of energy. $22. Okay, well, clearly the cooking kit is by far the most efficient. 45 Yeah. Okay, well, get three of those and save 24 bucks. Um. Okay, so, so let's just check our story. So never stop over the bubble. Get the tape from Apple. Find out about the cafe job. Find out about little Bobo's job. Teach you some manners. I think he's part of the league. So, okay. He's Huey, yeah. So we just need to get up the league and fight him to complete that. I guess next fight is with Song Mo. 360 good person points. Basic school. He's got punches and kicks. And he likes to dodge. Okay, one energy. Okay, we need to rest up. And we need to maybe... Okay, we... Significantly reduces incoming damage if the block is successful. Okay, so we'll be blocking next fight. That takes two energy. So I think it's maybe better... Right, so four energy, four, four. Yeah, better two. Four plus forty percent of strength and damage. This doesn't scale very well with strength, to be honest. Yeah, so the more strength we have, the more energy we're going to use. It depends on stamina and depends on stamina. So we should train our stamina a little bit. Okay, to train our stamina, we need 30 bucks. That's what we need. And we have two days. Okay, we need to make some money, get to the gym. And... Uh, Bobo's farm. Okay, let's go to Bobo's farm. We need to make some money, go to the gym and train there. Alright, um, hello? And who are you? Dad, this is the guy I was telling you about. Oh, you're here for a job, right? Yes. Well, the job is yours, as long as you can punch slimes nice and hard. Well, let's face it, any idiot can manage that. Now, I've got more important business to attend. Alright, it's levitating. So, this is what you do, helping your father on the farm? Yes, I have to. Sounds like you don't really like it. It's not like anybody ever asked me what I want. What are you really after? I've always felt like there's more to life, you know? More than this dirty town and this endless gang wars and all the illegal activities and stuff. But there's nobody here, not even my father who believes in a better life. But I've got a plan. I can score enough GPP, I can get out of this dirty city and leave it all behind. So how are you going to do it? Well, we don't know each other well enough for me to tell you everything. Maybe later. Okay. What do we do with these slimes, anyway? Oh, we use them for food dispensers. What? You mean all my life I've been eating this? Oh, what are these? Yep, never complained about the flavor, am I right? This seems to be broken, I guess. I guess not, but that's... You're welcome. Okay, I better get to it. Okay, have fun punching slimes. Slime beating. Okay, not sure this, but again, okay. okay well, at least we're making money for training. We're getting 29 bucks per shift for from 2 o'clock. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, okay, wait. Yeah. Out of 
food. We have this thing. Okay, let's keep this protein bot. Okay, then we can continue for a little bit more. Of energy and out of food. Okay. So we're out of food. Let's go home and eat. Mother dearest. You and Henry watch too many movies. Please be careful with your fights. Alright, something nice. Make it yourself. Okay. It's night time, we could go and uh, hmm. for our fight in two days, I guess what do we need to do? We need to train stamina, I feel like, because we got we have a lot of blocks. Right, we got Yeah, we have we need we're gonna do a lot of blocking and a lot of punching. So we're gonna do punching instead of kicks. Yeah, so we need to up our stamina. Okay. And we don't really want to up our strength. We just want to up our stamina. So what do we do? Do we? Okay, if we go to the mouth to the junkyard again, then uh, hmm. we could go work at the junkyard for a bit. Get there at two a.m. I think it said it finishes at eight. Start work. Okay, this pays thirty-two dollars. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, we actually get a bit of strength training with this. Okay. So we have $114. Alright. So we could... It takes $30 to train. So let's get... Some food, yeah, because we need... At least one more to fill us up. And we can get two... Two trainings in. Before our next fight. Let's do that. And what do we do? Let's, let's run a marathon. $30. Don't skip it, jump it. Hmm. Twelve and six. Okay, let's do this again. Eat and rest. Hmm. What are you doing? Trying to eat something. Do you know what I'm trying to do? Hmm, to sleep? Yes, I'm trying to sleep. Don't make so much noise, kid. What am I supposed to do? I don't care. Buy some snacks at a shop or something. It was easy eating slime through the dispenser. <laughs> Maybe some sleeping pills would help. I should ask Apple. Okay. Stop waking me up with your nonsense. Oh. Oh, we can't eat? Get out. Mess with me when I'm sleeping. Okay. Let's get to Apple and get some sleeping pills, I guess. Hey, Apple. Do you have any pills for heavy sleeping? What do you mean? You take one look at Apple and think this guy sells illegal stuff? <laughs> no, I don't. Just because I sold my body doesn't mean I sell drugs. I didn't mean that. Read my lips, you little brat. Apple doesn't sell illegal stuff. Okay, I understand. Remember that. You never ask me for anything like that, okay? Okay. There is some sweet candies in that vending machine. Many customers say they help them sleep. 
So we have a vending machine that sells candies for heavy sleeping. What? Of course not. It isn't my vending machine. I just rent the space for it in my shop. So whose is it? None of your business, kid. Got this vending machine. Okay. Candy vending machine. Green sweets with an interesting effect. So three for one, twelve for five. At least you need to put a violent elephant to sleep for a few months. <laughs> yeah. That's all the money we have. Okay, hope this helps my mom sleep better. Janitor. Was it you who stole the pudding and the toilet seashells? What is this? Oh. Ah, okay. A mysterious shadowy figure. Okay. Are you still having trouble sleeping? Yes, lately I've been sleeping terribly. Maybe these candies will help you. Where did you get them? From the vending machine in... I'm not putting anything from a vending machine in my mouth. Actually, our food dispenser is a vending machine with a monthly payment. Didn't you hear what I said? Yes, but I figured Apple's shop is reliable. So they're from Apple's shop? Technically, yes. Why are you screwing with my head? Put them in that dish on the table. I'll try them when I go to bed. Uh, okay. Hmm, mom's favorite candies, they make her sleep pretty heavy. Okay. So I guess we eat. Hmm, we don't have any money left. We do need to get some sleep though. Just we uh, get some sleep and maybe we cut the episode here, guys. Yeah, that's enough for the first episode. I feel like we've gone through all the basic tutorial stuff. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to our first real fight in the next episode, guys. See you there. See you in episode two. Thanks for watching.